The next kind of a miscellaneous operator is instance of operator. What it does, let us understand in detail. Instance of operators are called as comparison operator. Why do we call them as comparison operator is that we are trying to compare the object reference whether it is of a particular type or not. Let us understand in detail with the help of its syntax. We have written object reference variable instance of a class or an interface type. What it does here is that it tries to compare that a particular object variable that you have created is type of that particular data type or a class or an interface type. Let us take an example of a string where you have given your name. So name is nothing but a string data type and you have created a variable with a name called name. So you write string name equals to Monica as my name is Monica. Then what we do, we are trying to check that variable, the variable name is name, N-A-M-E is an instance of a string type or not. We are trying to compare that. So this instance of is a keyword to check within an object reference variable is type of that particular reference or a class or an interface type. And this instance of operators are useful to check whether it passes a is a check relation or not. Is a check relation is nothing but whether one object reference type is compatible with the reference type or not. So let us see here with an example. We have created a class called test. In the main method, we have created an data type of string variable name as name. So this creation is called a variable where the data type is string. The variable name is name equals to Monica in double quotes because string value is provided in double quotes and then end with a semicolon. Following, we are trying to check whether this name is a type of string or not, right? So is this name an instance of string or not? So when we say or not, it will return us a Boolean value if it is true or false. Therefore, we create a variable called boolean and the boolean variable name is result. Therefore, the value of this, whether it is true or not, will be stored in this result and then the result would be printed. The print would be either true or false. Therefore, instance of operators helps you to understand, make the comparison whether this particular object variable is of that particular type or not. Let us consider another example. In this example, we are trying to understand about the new operator plus instance of. We have certain other operators in miscellaneous, those are dot operator, new operator, etc. But what does this new operator does? We need to understand that. What we have done in this example is that we have created two class. The first class is car, the second class is vehicle. Now we are trying to understand if the class car is type of vehicle or not. So in that case what we do is that we need to first create an object for the car class. Right? So we write car then the object name equal to new keyword. This new keyword is nothing but new operator. Declaring and creating object are two different things. You can declare a variable by car A. So this is nothing but you're declaring an object for the car class, but it will not instantiate or it will not be saved in memory. How it happens is with the help of a new operator. So you write equal to new followed with the constructor name and then in the bracket that helps you to instantiate this object. Again repeating, this new operator will enable you to create and declare this particular object and then save a memory for this particular object in the computer. Next our statement says that if A is an instance of vehicle, if car is a type of a vehicle, in this equation yes car is a type of a vehicle therefore the value will be true and that will be stored in result. If it was not the value would have been stored as false and then you would have 
printed. So both of these example we will run practically and see how and what happens when we write each of the statement, how it execute, what would be the output. So going forward whenever you have to check is a relationship, it is always recommended to use a comparison operator. We have created a class called instance of operator to check if a particular object reference variable is an instance or a type of a particular type or not. So the class name is instance of operator with the main method. We have created a variable called string which will hold the value and this string variable name is name. String which is a data type then the variable name equals to the value. Being an string value we have written in, in the inverted commas followed with a semicolon. So the question is to check if Monica or the value which is holding Monica is name if name is a type of a string or not. How can you check that? By writing name instance of string where instance of is a keyword is a reserved word which has predefined meaning in Java. So this will return a boolean value whether if this particular expression is true or false. So we create a variable called as boolean and the variable name is result which will hold the value true or false and then we print the value. Let us save this file and run. So if you see it is true. Why true? Because yes name is a type of a string. Let us see another example to understand the instance of operator better. We have created a class called car and then another class called vehicle. We are trying to understand the new object or the new vehicle that we are creating is a type of a car or not or is a type of a vehicle or not. There are certain vehicles which may be a car, scooter, bicycle and all. So we need to understand if this particular vehicle is type of a car or not. So we are creating a object and the object is created with the help of a new keyword. So we write new vehicle because we are creating a new vehicle which is a type of a class vehicle. So new vehicle is type of a car or not and that is nothing but A. So this is the reference variable. And now if A is a type of vehicle or not, if it is yes, it will save the value and result. If it is false, again it will save the value to a result. So let us see if it is a type of a vehicle or not, if car is a type of vehicle or not. Let us save the file and run. So it says true. Yes, car is a type of a vehicle and the value is stored in result and then printed.